he, he felt offended he felt his pride was um was hurt his ego was affected and he made that a subtle threat just very subtle and look at what happened you know just yesterday the guy he was sacked from his job as a chief of staff to the governor redeployed to a lower position and this is the guy that a lot of you are feeling sorry for <laughs> look it's easy when somebody plays the role of an underdog <laughs> This was so unprofessionally done. It is the easiest thing in the world to go to court. Fair hearing, high court, of, just like you did. It's simple, fair hearing. Did you query him? Did you tell him? Did you ask him to, to defend himself? Did you even call him to ask him any question? No, that's, that's all, you know? But no, I think uh, we should go on with a new phase in life. And, uh, the area of Kano or something which he is not. Not, yes. Let me tell you this, my friend. I will advise you to stop talking about this area of Kano. The way you press people and the way our political opponents want to regard the area, that is not the way we regard the area. As far as we are concerned, we the elected government of Kano states, as far as we are concerned, as far as I, the governor of Kano state, is concerned, the area of Kano is nothing, nothing, nothing but a public office. I, I read in the paper that he, uh, somebody said, I said he's a civil servant. I never said so. I didn't say he's a civil servant. He's not a civil servant. He's a public officer oh, who is holding a public office and who is being paid from public funds and whose appointment is at the pleasure of the governor of the state and who can be dismissed Really trying to no. make the area of Kano.
from the Emir through his chief of staff, were directed to take legal action to challenge the legality of the Emir's detention and banishment. We have the fine view that this action is illegal and unconstitutional. Section 35 of the Constitution of our country guarantees every citizen the right to personal liberty. The basis of the denial of personal liberty Sanusi, Lami de Sanusi, the former Emaya of Kanu, the former governor of the Central Bank. Um, a lot of you have been very sympathetic about this, uh, uh, this gentleman. So watch this video and uh, probably it will help you um, assess this man's character and his personality better because he's just watch it. The Royal Highness, the Emir of Zazo and the former Emir of um, Kano. This and to be honest, when I looked through the plan and when I listened to the I'll call him the former chief of staff and you'll understand why later. Next time you'll call me former Amy. <laughs> now the guy you just watched, his name is Mohammed Sani Dadijo, and until yesterday he was uh, the chief of staff to the Kaduna State Governor Nasir El Rufai, who's best friends with Sanusi Lamido. And you now understand what Sanusi Lamido meant when he said you will know what I mean later. Obviously, I mean, you can see what happened. He, he felt offended. He felt his pride was, um, was hurt. His ego was affected. And he made that a subtle threat, just very subtle. And look at what happened. You know, just yesterday, the guy was sacked from his job as a chief of staff to the governor, redeployed to a lower position. And this is the guy that a lot of you are feeling sorry for. <laughs> look, it's easy when somebody plays the role of an underdog and Sanusi is very good at that. He's very, very skilled you know, at playing that role, manipulating the media. I mean, you've just seen what happened. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Just watch this video of Sanusi, Lamido Sanusi, the former Emir of Kanu, the former governor of the Central Bank. Um, a lot of you have been very sympathetic about this, uh, uh, this gentleman. So watch this video and uh, probably it will help you um, assess this man's character and his personality better because he's just watch it the royal highness the emir of zozo and the former emir of um, kano And to be honest, when I looked through the plan and when I listened to the, I'll call him the former chief of staff and you'll understand why later. Next time you'll call me former Amir. <laughs> now the guy you just watched. Amir, hey, hey, Sanusi, Lami de Sanusi, the former Emir of Kanu, the former governor of the Central Bank. Um, a lot of you have been very sympathetic about this, uh, uh, this gentleman. So watch this video and uh, probably it will help you um, assess this man's character and his personality better because he's just watch it. The Royal Highness, the Emir of Zozo and the 
former Emir of um, Kano. This and to be honest, when I looked through the plan and when I listened to the, I'll call him the former Chief of Staff and you'll understand why later. Next time, don't call me former Emir. <laughs> Now the guy you just watched, his name is Mohammed Sani Dadijo, and until yesterday he was uh, the chief of staff to the Kaduna State Governor Nasser El Rufai, who's best friends with Sanusi Lamido. And you now understand what Sanusi Lamido meant when he said, "You will know what I mean later." Obviously, I mean you can see what happened. He, he felt offended. He felt his pride was um, was hurt. His ego was affected. And he made that a subtle threat, just very subtle. And look at what happened. You know, just yesterday, the guy he was sacked from his job as a chief of staff to the governor, redeployed to a lower position. And this is the guy that a lot of you are feeling sorry for. <laughs> look, it's easy when somebody plays the role of an underdog. And Sanusi is very good at that. He's very, very skilled you know, at playing that role, manipulating the media. I mean, you've just seen what happened. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Just watch this video of Sanusi, Lamido Sanusi, the former emir of Kanu, the former governor of the Central Bank. Um, a lot of you have been very sympathetic about this, uh, uh, this gentleman. So watch this video. And uh, probably it will help you um, assess this man's character and his personality better. Because he's... Just watch it. The Royal Highness, the Emir of Zozo and the former Emir of um, Kano. This and to be honest, when I looked through the plan and when I listened to the, I'll call him the former Chief of Staff and you'll understand why later.